It's Comedian Man Henry, uh, and this is uh, the second edition of, uh, of I Show. And uh, in this second edition, we're going to do another uh, Let's Marvel uh, with a question. Let's Marvel, I'm just going to talk. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to express my opinion. Sometimes my opinions on, on Marvel characters and, and comic books are a little bit controversial. Uh, I'll, I can, I can, I hate Star Wars. <laughs> I can say that, uh, but that's a whole another, it's a whole another kettle of fish. Maybe the next, maybe maybe next time I'll talk I'll talk about uh, talk about that. But it's a great segue because we're talking about overrated characters and overrated things, like Star Wars, the most. The most overrated one, one of the most overrated ones of them all, in the Marvel universe, is uh, is Captain America to me. Yeah, <sighs> ah, that guy. Don't say that. How are you gonna say that? What's going on, Hollis? Hollis, humble high speed. So, buddy's clothing line. You're at wondering if you like my shirt. I don't care. For Captain America, I don't. I, I want to, you know. But to be honest, he doesn't do it for me, you know. If you, I haven't seen the Winter Soldier yet, and I don't. That's not going to change my opinion on 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 who Cap is, what he's all about. I don't care, you know. He's Johnny on the box. That's what I call him, Johnny. He's the he's the leader. He's, well, he has, you know, he's a leader dude. Nobody likes leader dude. I don't like leader dude. He's here's my thing. He, Cap, everyone, Cap, Cap's got the shield and he's got uh, he's got the serum running through his body. And to be honest, I don't care about that because there are other other people in the Marvel universe who have who have that same serum or variations of it and are better. Uh, Luke Cage is the one who comes Power Man. You know, Luke Cage, his is, his is way better. He got, he, he got, uh, denser muscles and unbreakable skin out of that. Cat, Cat is boring, man. <laughs> He's boring. Like, that's, even Bucky, even the partner, like, he got, he, he got a metal arm, dude. You know, it's like, that's, that's how I see it. I don't think Cat, like, obviously it's fiction, but if I was in a bank, and the bank was getting robbed, and it was a big thing. And, I, and I'm, I guess I'm living in the Marvel universe. And only Captain America would have bust through the door. I don't think I'm living, man. I'm not. I'm not like, yeah, we're gonna live. And and I feel that <laughs> if a superhero busts <clears throat> into the, into the door, that should be it's a feeling. Yeah, I feel that I would get grazed by a bullet like i don't you know at least i don't think cap cap is running the queen ship and uh and that's my problem you know it's 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 the it's the leader factor and i'm gonna get to my the obvious question that's coming with this video um but it's it's the lead like nobody likes johnny on the box nobody nobody likes the i don't maybe it's maybe something wrong with me nobody likes the the, the main dude and and even in the Avengers, he's not technically the main dude, but uh, you know he's Johnny Leader, Johnny Main Guy. You know it's weird how it's always the side characters who are who are more interesting than uh, than the main ones. So many things in, within Marvel they've done that so many times where they where to me at least the clone. Is way cooler, way more badass than uh, than the original. And it's happened a couple times. Uh, mo like I said with Luke Cage, but uh, chick from Spider Man, uh, Black Cat. She's on. She's on a variation of the serum too, if I'm not mistaken. And she's way more badass than 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 Captain America. She ain't gonna save me, man. Cap gonna let me get hit. I'm not trying to get I'm not I'm not trying to get hit in a situation like that. That's why I don't want the event and I don't want my I don't want I don't want my stuff blown up either. I'm one of those civilians. I'm one of the civilians that you see 
uh, at the end, I'm bitching. I don't care if you save the world. What about this? These are my tax dollars here. And you're just you're destroying my work. You're destroying my downtown. The Avengers don't give a damn. Yes, man. At least, like that's why. Like that's that's, that's that's another topic. And and I want uh, and it kind of links in. This can link in because that's what I'm recommending. What I'm reading right now is is X Men versus the Avengers. And uh, I read the first few of them, and they're awesome. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I, I guess I, I can do a whole review on them once I'm done. There's a whole bunch of comments. I'll put the information there. I download them. But the reality of it is, to me, before even even reading this series and getting too deep into this series, um, Jean Grey or not, Phoenix or not, I think the X-Men would whoop, would whoop the Avengers' ass. I think they would. And they wouldn't blow up my city either. You know? They wouldn't. Avengers would. Avengers blow up your car, all kind of shit. They don't care. The Avengers, and they don't cover your insurance. They, they don't cover nobody's insurance, man. Like, yeah, you saved the world, but what about me? You didn't save me. You costed me. You think Tony Stark give a damn? Because he doesn't. And, you know, I guess that maybe that's why people like him. Cap pretends. Captain America. At least, at least, at least uh, you know, Tony Stark is honest. Captain Steve. I don't even call him. I don't even call him. I call him. I should have, I, Steve Rogers. That's the rest of it. I'll call him Steve. I still call him. I always call him Steve. Steve Rogers. He's a regular dude to me. On drugs. Anyone, anyone could have done that. You know what I mean? He volunteered. And, uh, and it didn't even make him awesome. <laughs> I don't care. You know, I don't. I think that, uh, I think there are more people I'd rather, so the question is, like, I'd rather have, I'd have, rather have the X-Men come in and save my life. I'd rather have, uh, I don't know, like, even if I cross universes here, but, and I don't even like Batman. Look at the last video I, I made, the Deadpool one. I don't like Batman at all. But Batman would come in and whoop Captain America's ass. He would. He ain't go. Captain America is not my Marvel representative. He's boring. Johnny on the box. Johnny on the cover. I don't care about the dude on the cover. That's all he got. You know. How is he a big deal? He shouldn't be. Fought in World War II and all these these things. You know who else fought in World War II? Wolverine. He was there. He was there. So don't be, don't be, I don't know how you get so much love. Wolverine, I mean, uh, <laughs> Wolverine he's a pop, he's Johnny Popular too. But, hey, I guess he got a movie. Deadpool ain't got a movie yet. Luke Cage ain't got a movie yet. Have you guys seen the new X-Men, these new Marvel movies? I haven't watched them. I haven't watched them um, because I watched uh, Marvel, the cartoon. There's a cartoon. It's on Netflix right now, two seasons. And uh, it's amazing. It's uh, Marvel's uh, Earth, the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And I know it's just bagging on the Avengers, but it is... And a mate like that cartoon, I I sat once I ran, I found out the second season was on lame Canadian Netflix. If you know about Canadian Netflix, you know uh, it sucks. It's good. It's not all the movies. Canadian Netflix is a great storage device for all the movies I don't want to watch. I can go on there and check and make sure there are things there that I still don't want to watch. And Canadian Netflix is uh, is is keen for that. But Mightiest Heroes had everything in it. And that cartoon is two seasons. I don't know why Marvel didn't extend it because it, it was amazing. It pretty much covered the Avengers 1 movie, 2, and a whole bunch of cool... Uh, they can go so many places movie-wise now. 
that cartoon has made me as I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the Avengers four or five. Because everyone's talking about Ultron, I'm sitting here waiting for Vision. Do you know who Vision is? You should. And if you don't watch that cartoon, Vision is that dude, and I, I am a fan. So uh get Vision up in there, man. He needs to happen. Vision and, and we'll wrap it up with this. Captain America is not that good. There are various other superheroes who I would rather have come and, and save my life. Now, maybe you think I'm wrong. Maybe you think I'm incorrect for saying that. So, if I'm wrong, who, if Captain America is that great, comment right now. Comment in this and tell me why Captain America is the man. If, you, if, you're, if you're a Captain America person. If you agree with me, like and share this video and spread the word that Captain America is a lame and they need to work on other people with the serum and make their movies and make them more popular. Start helping me with this campaign. There are better people. I don't, I don't need Johnny on the box. But that's my show. This is what I this is what I believe, man. You think I'm wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. All right, man. Uh, that's that with that. Uh, I am reading uh, The Avengers versus The X-Men. Uh, I've downloaded it, uh, a bunch of them. I haven't downloaded them all because um, I paid for them because I'm really nice. I know a lot of people download comics for free. I'm not that guy. Uh, I can't do it. So uh, only because of the artist, you know what I mean? It's like, man, I don't want to I don't want to steal from people who uh, I know are talented. So uh, I give the money where the money is due. And uh, I have the Marvel app, and I've downloaded, uh, I think, like, the first five or six. I know there's a bunch, uh, but it's awesome. So the review is coming on that. Um, so I'm going to be there. There's more videos to come. I'm going to Europe next month, July. But uh, June is still here, and I'll be, uh, let's see, June the 5th. Man, that's this coming Thursday. Um, if, you're still, if I don't make a video between, I don't know, this is old. If you're watching, it's weird, right? But it's June 5th, uh, this coming Thursday. Uh, it's going to be happening. I'm going to be at Buster Rhino's Cheap Labs downtown Oshawa. That's where I'll be. And then I'm going to California uh, for a quick getaway, strictly because I'm going to Europe to tour for two months um, from July. So I'll be gone for a quick two weeks. And then when I get back, it's all fire from there. Straight fire. Vape on the lake with my dude Paul Thompson. On uh, Friday, June 27th, I'm uh, doing devilishly good comedy in Richmond Hill, uh, St. Louis Bar and Grill with my man Liam Kelly. Um, the actors will be there too. And on the 29th of June, uh, I'm doing yucks, man. I'm going to be at the, the Nubian show downtown with my man Kenny Robinson. Uh, if you don't know who Kenny Robinson is, he is a Canadian icon, probably. Uh, top five in the history of Canadian comedy, so uh, you're probably going to want to look him up, even if you don't come to the show, but you should come to the show and see me uh, as I go in there and have a good time, but this has been I Show. I am Comedian Man Henry. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos, uh, but yeah, Captain America is not that guy, uh, so don't come. Don't waste your time, Cap. Don't waste your time saving me, because quite frankly, I don't need you. I'm Comedian Man Henry. I'll check you later.